Attitude Check, Bronco Pike! Good afternoon and welcome to FSUBroncos.com. I am Bria Battle and today I am sitting with head volleyball coach Rashima Johnson. Coach Johnson, so you're going into your ninth season. Um, last season we finished number two in the conference with an overall record of 19 and 8. Mm -hmm. Talk about that championship matchup. Well, to be perfectly honest, not very many people expected us to be even in that match. Um, so the fact that we even got there was you know, an accomplishment in itself. We only had two people to return from the previous year. And so we were a very young team. So I think what happened in the final is that we, that our youth just got the advantage, got, you know, got the better of us. The team that we played in the finals, they had lost in the finals in the previous year. And so they were just a little bit more hungry than we were. I think our youth and our nerves got the better of us. But I think that that served as a lesson for us and a preparation for us for this year. So not only have you coached our Lady Broncos, but you've also played um, for our Lady Broncos. Um, you were FSU Student Athlete of the Year. Um, so talk about your experiences in playing in a championship matchup when you were attending the university. Well, um, while I was playing, we won actually our first championship in history. So. Um, of course, that is, you know, a landmark, a milestone for me. Um, having played in the championship, I think it gives me a better perspective of what my athletes are going through when they're in the championship. And so I'm able to give them some kind of, you know, um, some nuggets, you know, some advice and kind of try to guide them because I understand, you know, what they're going through as they're going into their first championship match. So we have 11 returning players we and do. we have um, nine new coming players. So um, with the 11 returning players, we have senior Jade Jacobs, um, who was named to the preseason all CIAA team, as well as Nakia McKinney, um, who was CIAA Rookie of the Year. Um, so talk about um, our nine new coming players and how their talents will fit into this Lady Broncos team. Well, as you mentioned, we do have 11 people coming back from last year and so it, it forms the core of the team that went to the championship last year. Um, we did lose Sabira Louise, who was our captain and one of our primary outside hitters. Um, and we lost um, Leah, um, Leah Reed. She was one of our primary defensive players. Um, however, this year we have a talented bunch of newcomers coming in. Um, we have some people that we're moving around, some actual um, returners that will be moving around to fill Samira's position. And I think that the experience that they got last year will allow them to do that, you know, effectively. And then we have some people that we've brought in on defense as well that will free um, Alicia Ortiz up to do some other things that we need her to do. And I'm particularly proud of our defense at this point. I think that it's our strongest asset right now. Um, so I think that those newcomers coming in will be able to contribute effectively to the team this year. Sounds great. So I want to talk about um, Jay Jacobs. I know mm -hmm. I mentioned her earlier. So, you know, this is her senior year. Um, she finished last year with a team high of 80 blocks. Um, so what do you expect for her as far as her leadership role um, to this Lady Broncos team, especially to our new coming players? Well, Jay came in in 2013, right after we had won the championships, two championships back to back. And she came in in 2013 and we didn't quite get there. We didn't, make, we didn't win the championship that year. And so she came in on the heels of championships, not having won a championship her first year. And she was a freshman, so you know, she had the freshman jitters and stuff. But I've seen Jade really grow and mature as a player and as a leader over the past three years. And so it, it showed in her play last year, she was a whole lot more confident, she was a whole lot more aggressive. And so the results were those stats that you just mentioned and her being named to the all-conference team and all-tournament team. Um, so this year I expect that she'll continue to show that growth. And being a senior and having not ever won a championship, I expect her to be a little bit hungry 
to leave here with a ring and to kind of communicate that to the to the to the rest of the team and to lead from the front on that on that charge. So you talked about your expectation for um, Jade this year, yes. um, but I want to talk about your expectations um, for Nikia McKinney. Um, she was CIAA Rookie of the Year, um, so this is her second season. So what what do you expect from Nikia coming into this season? Well, you know, having won that honor in her freshman year, you know, sometimes stuff like that get to our heads and we think, you know, we've arrived, we won, you know, Rookie of the Year, we're, we're great and stuff. Um, but for Nakia, she has really worked hard because she realizes that although she had that individual accomplishment, we missed the mark as a team. And so um, she's really focused on that aspect this year. So she's working really hard. We've brought in two other people in her position. Um, and one is a freshman, one is a transfer um, junior. So one does have more experience than she does, but she has stepped up to the plate and she recognizes that having been here last year, she is still the leader in that position. So she still has to um, lead from the front in that area. So this year I expect that she will play even harder because she's playing to maintain her spot on the team and she's also playing to win that championship. So coach, I just wanna know what drives you to um, develop these ladies' volleyball skills? Well, um, there are two things that really drive me to do this. One of them is my love for volleyball. Volleyball is life. It, it, it really is. Um, so my love for the sport, I want to see other people to enjoy the sport as much as I do. And it just gives me great satisfaction to see somebody move from point A to point B, you know, throughout the course of the season or throughout the course of the off season. That just gives me so much pleasure. So. Um, I love sharing the knowledge and the experience that I have of the game. The other thing is I just love working with people. So when my, when my athletes come to me, they're more than just volleyball players, they're people to me. So they become a part of my family and we, you know, we maintain and develop those relationships. And so I really enjoy that aspect of it, just, just watching them grow as not just players but as people and being there for them as family away from home. So those are the two things that really drive me.